So this is the review for chapter two, all of it. It says graph the inequality. Okay, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Ready? First thing you want to do. Draw a number line. So everybody draw a number line. Okay. This symbol, okay, means closed circle. So I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. Okay, so I'm going to put negative nine in the middle. It's a closed circle at negative nine. All right, and I'm eating. This is the most exercise I've gotten all day. Look at that. I bet you I could beat you in a race. Yeah. No, right. doubt it. <laughs> Give me all that. And I'm eating the X, so that means they shoot to the right. So there we go. Easy enough. Solving graph. Okay. So first thing you want to do is just add four thirds to both sides. These cancel. X is left on the right. On the left, one third plus four thirds lets five thirds. So to graph it, I'm going to try and make it easy. Five thirds goes in the middle. Six thirds to the right or two, and four thirds to the left. It's an open circle. We're eating the X, so we shade to the right. Not bad so far, huh, Destiny? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. AJ, pretty easy so far. Okay, and remember, some of this is going to be like um, multiple choice. So some of the things you can look for are the open and closed circles. You can eliminate those. So it should go pretty quick on some of these. Solving graph. Again, we're going to get rid of this minus 12. We're going to add it. Because this x is greater than or equal to negative 8 plus 12 is 4. And just so you guys are all on the same page, I've enabled the scientific calculator on the assessment. So if hope tomorrow you don't have a calculator for whatever reason, you can't find it, there's going to be one built into the test that you can access. So negative 8 plus 12 should be something you could type in and you get 4 real quick. So 3, 4, 5, closed circle. Okay, we're eating the X, so we're shading to the right. Solving graph, okay? As I said, this is all the open-ended stuff, but on the test, it's all kind of like multiple choice for like the first 20 questions, stuff like that, okay? So we divide by four here. You have X is greater than or equal to negative eight. So negative eight, negative seven, negative nine, close circle. And you guessed it, AJ, we're going to the right. So if you, I'm the type of teacher that like makes A the answer for like everything. I didn't do it, I didn't do it yes or for this test tomorrow, but I am that type of teacher. So don't let it like freak you out. Yeah. If you get a bunch of like the same answers in a row, like they're all shooting to the right. Kind of weird, right? Yeah. But I would do that to you. Make you believe in your math. Thanks for me know. Not a problem. But I didn't do it tomorrow. Okay. I've been known to like make a 10 question quiz and all the answers like that. And you're like, you're like, can't be hey again. It is. 
Yeah. So we're going to change the two negatives to a positive. So it's x plus 6 is less than negative 8. Subtract 6. Bada bing, bada boom. Negative 14. So just put negative 14 in the middle. Open circle. And this one I'm not eating the x, so I actually do change to the left. Hope you're feeling all right on this? Yeah. Were those blueberries good? Yeah. They're actually um, blackberries. I only saw it for a second. I was running really fast to drop off that paper. Okay. Number six, you might want to star only because you're dividing by a negative here. So when you divide by a negative, to undo that, we multiply. But what do I have to remember to do? Flip the sign. So those cancel. We're left with x. Flip your sign. Negative 20. Close circle. Reading the x. You shade to the right. All good? All right, Liam, what do I do from here? You could divide by one ninth, that is perfectly acceptable. Is there another easier way to do it? Okay, does anybody else have another way? What's that? Multiply by nine. Multiply by the reciprocal. So Liam, you can totally divide by one ninth. That is completely acceptable. The one thing you need to remember is when you do that, put it in parentheses, okay? So you can divide by one ninth, but as Emma said, that's gonna be the same thing as multiplying by nine over one, okay? Because if you think about it this way, Liam, see all the nines on top, nines on bottom, okay? All right, so if we divide by one ninth, that's gonna give me x is going to be less than 27. So 26, 27, 28, open circle, we're shading to the left. <laughs> All right, Jordan, how do I get rid of that minus 15? Uh, you should add it to the negative nine. Yep, so we add it. That gives me x is greater than six. So I put five, six, seven, open circle. We're eating the X, so we should to the right. I know, it's a lot of stuff today. Yeah, it is. It's an entire chapter. I know, but if I did, like if I didn't do it this way, then we'd be like jammed up against uh, like Thanksgiving. And I, didn't, I wanted you guys to be done before Thanksgiving. Cause like everybody's going to be given tests yeah, no, and I'm trying to get my tests in before their test. Next, next yeah. It's like a week away. Cause let's be honest, like I'm not doing anything on, I don't want that to go on YouTube. I'm sure you will. You're going to tweet that out. Yeah. All right. So we're going to add three here.
we have 29 is less than x. I know you guys are like, wow. Hopefully this whole test is this one. There's like 10, 11 questions like on this type of stuff. And then there's like 10 questions on like multiple step. And then there's like 10 questions on, um, on like compound and absolute value. They're like together. All right, now it changes to two step. So we subtract three, it gives us four X is greater than or equal to 12. Divide by four, X is greater than or equal to three. So we have two, three, four, Close circle at three, we're eating the X, so we shade to the right. You're like, when in doubt? Okay. You're like, when in doubt, goes to the right. Okay. At least today. Yeah. All right, Sophie, what do you got? Question. What do we do? And add nine. Add nine. And you multiply three. Do you know what thirteen times three is? So here, it's an open circle. We're eating the X, shade to the right. Angela, how you feel? It's good. Andrew. Your mic yeah. works? Andrew, what would you do for number 12? Um, distribute. Maybe. Okay. So Andrew wants to distribute. Then what would you do? Uh, subtract 12. Perfect. Were you up late last night watching football? No. Oh. I don't remember watching that game either. It was like 17 to 14. Ooh. What do we do from here? Um, isn't that like I don't know. Well, how do you get rid of uh times three? Oh, you divide by three. Yep. So you have X is greater than zero. All right. Hope, oh, what should I do for 13? Um, you subtract the five, or no, add the five. Okay. Then, yeah. I'm taking your lead on this. I'm trusting you, Hope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, your face is on the banner of uh, Road Tree Media, so. No, what do you got? Okay. You had it? I'm going to go second step. 
Yeah. All right, now what? Uh, oh, shoot. No, this is wrong. No, what, what are we doing? Where do we go? You can bring it home. Well, that would take us back up here, right? Okay, I combine them together. Yeah. But in order to move a positive 4x, we subtract it, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 One more step, Hope. Five. Six. Perfect. Okay. Oh, you know when you're like <coughs> driving with like your parents or whatnot, and they're like, we're gonna take a shortcut. You're like, this isn't a shortcut, this is a long cut. Yeah. Uh, you took the long cut. Okay, so if you would go on your thing, you want to. I helped yeah. you. <laughs> she gave me a picture. You gave me a picture. All right, close circle. Yeah. We're not eating the X. <coughs> so we shade to the right or the left. <clears throat> yeah. All right, hope. This is what we could have done, ready? Yeah. <coughs> you have the 4X on this side, 10X on this side. So you could have moved the 4x <laughs> over here, yeah. right out the gate. That would have gotten you to 6x. So you would have had negative 5 is greater than or equal to 6x plus 13. Subtract the 13, and you would have gotten the negative 8. Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Little people live. Like, <clears throat> little people live. Live. They're like hip. And now I'm like crying because it hurts. And it's not socially acceptable to talk. Literally. You can't mind with you either. Literally crying. I can see it. I know. There's tears to my eyes. I'm not sure if I'm crying because Hope did that problem so beautifully or if it's because. Uh, it's the wrong way. Or because so it hurts kidding. so bad. Just kidding. No, I'm better now. All right, here we go. Oh, man. You and I both, both struggling through that problem. We got it. All right, 14. With 14, there's a lot going on here. Ready, Hope? So what I want to do is I want to kind of combine all of my axes. Yeah. Okay? So let's go with Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Yeah. What would you do first in 14? Distribute. Okay, so we're going to distribute here. I like that step. And then where would you go from here? Combine the like terms. So I'm going to combine those two axes. Now what? Do negative plus negative. So plus okay, so I'm going to add. And then I have this. What would you write from here? In, uh, no solutions. No solution. This is not true. 21 is not less than 15. So we write no solution. Hi. 
Okay. Now, finally, we're to some multiple choice here. So this is what I was kind of telling you. It says choose all the inequalities that are represented by the graph. So what we want to do first is we want to kind of like reduce these more complex ones down. Like A, D, E, and F. So the first thing you're going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. So two minus five is negative three. So I'm going to rewrite that as x is greater than negative three. Here, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to subtract eight from both sides. That's so going to be x is greater than negative three. I'm going to divide by two here. That's going to give me x is greater than negative three. And on this one, I divide by negative three, but I watch out because I must flip my sign. Okay, now I look up here at my number line. This is an open circle. So I want to eliminate any of these that have a closed circle. None of them do, correct? But this is at negative three, right? This one says positive three. So we know our answer is not F. We also know we're shading in which direction, to the right or to the left? To the right. That means we're eating the X. So this one, you're not eating the X. This one, we're eating the X and A. C, we're eating the X, D and E. Notice this, 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 and even this all say the same thing. So when it says choose all the inequalities, my answer is A, C, D, and E. They're all the same answer. So they are all correct. Okay. AJ, what type of uh, inequality is this? And or or? Or. So we're going to go ahead and write the word or in here. And this is how I go about this. Do you remember how I do this? Yeah. Ready for this? Does everybody see how this is my shaded part of the number line? Yep. I write X over that. Okay. Just like here, see how that's the shaded part in the second one here? I put an X there. See how this is the shaded part? That's where my X's go. Now, it's going to seem kind of weird because I'm doing like two problems at once. But it's all done the same way. So it goes X, and then I put my symbol here that matches that. That's an open circle, right? So X is less than negative 5. Do you see that? So I write my number over the circle. Here, that's a closed circle. So I'm going to put 4. Notice my symbols are always going one direction. See that? Watch this. Here, negative six. It's a closed circle. So it gets the line under it. here. This is an open circle. So three goes there. Done. I just did both problems. So my shaded part gets the X and then the numbers go right above the number that corresponds with the circle. And then I just put in, if it's a closed circle, it gets the line under it. Okay, but notice all my symbols are going the same direction, so it's kind of easy. Okay, so it says the zoo waives its entry fee for children to and under for the senior citizen and for the senior citizens ages 62 and older. Well, what type of inequality is this, Nate? Nate, is it an and or an or? Um, would it be 
or? It is an or. Now I specifically threw that word and in there several times to make you think it's and. But in reality, if the zoo is waiving its fee for children, children under two or two and under, that's going to be less than two. So I come down here. Okay, I'm going to put two right here. It says two, which means it's a closed circle, and under. And for senior citizens, ages 62 and older. And it says write and graph. So this would be x is less than or equal to 2 or 62 is less than or equal to x. Harshan. Harshan. All right. So this one says, according to salary.org, the average hourly wage for teenagers is between six and 16. So if it's in between, it's $6 and $16, and we need a shade in between them. Solve and graph the inequality below. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add four. Okay, remember I kind of treat it like it has three sections and I get to support each section of the house. So I have nine less than or equal to three X, which is less than 12. Then I divide by three. And I have three less than or equal to x less than four. So it's going to be three, four, closed circle, open circle, shading in between. Again. We got like five more problems. So I'm going to go ahead and add five here. So we have 12, two X in the middle, and on the left we have one. Divide by two, that's going to give me one half x and 6. So 1 half would go way down here. 6 might go down here. It's going to be an open circle. Open circle. And we're shading in between. All right, okay, we're going to go ahead and subtract seven. That's going to give me negative 14 is greater than or equal to 2x. Divide by two, we're going to have x is less than or equal to negative seven. On the right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to write it Liam's way. He says it's okay to divide by. The negative one third, so we have x, flip your sign, negative 24. So we're going to have what? Negative seven here. Lie. We're going to put negative seven down here. This is going to be a closed circle. We're shading this way. And then here, it's going to be 
Open circle, negative 24, and we're shading this way. So looks like I made an and inequality out of an or inequality. Who would have thought? Such is life. Last couple here, we have to break them up. 3x minus 2 is less than 6. 3x minus 2 is greater than negative 6 because you have to flip your signs. So we add 2. That gives me 3x is less than 8. Divide by 3. We get x is less than 8 thirds. Add 2. It gives me 3x is greater than negative 4. Divide by 3 and you have x is greater than negative 4 thirds. 8 thirds, negative 4 thirds, 0 is somewhere in the middle. We're going to have an open circle. Open circle, and we see it in between. So if he's like, ooh. These are the type of ones that are going to be uh, like file uploads. All right, here, subtract six. The absolute value of 3x plus 5 is greater than negative 4. Oh, we just learned this, right, Drew? Mm -hmm. The absolute value is always greater than a negative number, right? Mm -hmm. This is infinite solution. So for this one, it's just the entire number line. Is highlighted. You can put some numbers on there. <clears throat> Last but not least, here you cannot distribute that force. So you have to divide it out right at the beginning. That gives you the absolute value of one half x plus two is greater than or equal to one. Break it apart, negative one half x plus two is greater than or equal to one, and negative one half x plus two is less than or equal to negative one. Subtract two, negative one half x is greater than or equal to negative one, so multiply by negative two. You get x, flip your sign, We get x is less than or equal to 2. Over here, subtract 2. You have negative 1 half x is less than or equal to negative 3. Multiply by negative 2. And you get x is greater than or equal to 6. 6 is down here. Close circle. Shading to the right. 2. Uh, Close circle and shading to the left. And there you have it. <laughs>